Okay, so welcome to part three of my 4x4 Rubik's Cube tutorial. And at this point, you should have all of the centers solved for. And you should also have all of the edge pieces matched. Notice how these blue and yellow edge pieces are matched. Every single edge piece should be matched. And essentially, what, what we have done so far is we've turned this 4x4 Rubik's Cube into a 3x3 Rubik's Cube. Um, you can treat this white center exactly the same as this white center in the 3x3. Okay, and you can treat this, uh, these two uh, green and yellow edge pieces exactly the same as you would this green and yellow edge piece for the 3x3 Rubik's Cube. Um, so once again, we've kind of turned this 4x4 Rubik's Cube into a 3x3. And for much of this, you solve it exactly the same way as you would a 3x3 Rubik's Cube. Um, so that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to solve this top white side of the cube plus this top layer and two middle layers, I'm going to solve that exactly the same way as my 3x3 Rubik's Cube. And if you don't know how to do this already, um, I suggest you go back to part one, part two, and part three of my 3x3 tutorials. Um, I'm assuming since you're doing a 4x4 that you do know how to do this already. Um, so I'm going to solve this top side plus the top layer and the two middle layers. Okay, so at this point, I just solved the top side, the top layer, and middle layer um, exactly the same way as I would solve the top side and the top and middle layer of the 3x3 cube. All right, and at this point, the 4x4 gets incredibly more difficult uh, than the 3x3, um, and this is because in the 4x4, you have something that occurs called parity. All right, and in order to fix parity, um, you have these incredibly long algorithms that are really difficult uh, to memorize. Um, so that is what I'm going to go over in my next video. I'm going to teach you how to solve the rest of the cube and teach you what happens uh, when this parity occurs. Um, so I'm hoping you're enjoying these tutorials, and until my next video, I will see you later.